Never voting? No autographs? And why can't he serve on a jury? As heir to the British throne, there are long-standing conventions Prince Charles has to follow. What else is the royal barred from doing? Keep watching to find out. Unlike other political leaders and heads of state, members of the British royal family are never snapped putting their papers in ballot boxes on election day. And there is a very simple reason for this. They don't vote. According to the official website for the royal family, Queen Elizabeth II does not vote or stand for election. There is no official law against this. Instead, it's seen as more of a convention. It's interesting to note that this rule is also encouraged for other senior members of the royal family. A Buckingham Palace spokesperson told Newsweek that those, quote, close to the queen do not vote. And although the spokesperson did not specify exactly whom this would cover, it was said to particularly apply to senior members of the royal family. This would include Prince Charles and his sons, Prince William and Prince Harry. Although their wives may have voted before they married into the royal family, the convention would discourage them from doing so moving forward. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. Getting out and meeting the public on walkabouts are a big part of royal life. But royal protocol bans signing autographs. Prince Charles has been known to say that he isn't allowed if asked to sign something by a member of the public, and it's thought to be for security reasons, according to Insider. While the royal family may occasionally sign guest books and, of course, official documents, an autograph is described as something that almost never happens. And in modern times, signatures are not the only problem for the royals. Everyone wants a selfie for social media. But CNN royal commentator Victoria Arbiter told Insider that snapping a pic with the public isn't usually allowed, as it sets a precedent to give one to everyone. And security-wise, it involves the royals getting too close to strangers. Arbiter did add that the royals may be allowed to do so in certain circumstances, such as when visiting a sick child in the hospital. While not a strict rule, there is a convention established by Queen Elizabeth II that the royal family, including Prince Charles and Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, should not eat seafood while on duty. Former royal butler Grant Harold told Women in Home that this is to avoid food poisoning. Garlic is another no-go. Former royal chef Darren McGrady said he was not allowed to cook with the spice at Buckingham Palace because the queen doesn't like garlic. Although Charles has been spotted breaking the rules, such as the time he enjoyed oysters in 2013 at the Wistable Oyster Festival with wife Camilla, he's unlikely to ever be able to enjoy seafood or garlic with his mother present. I only wish I was coming to dinner here this evening. <laughs> Prince Charles is often seen with his wife Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, but the pair avoids being too lovey-dovey in public, as royal protocol is to keep any public displays of affection to a minimum. Royal etiquette expert Micah Meyer, founder and director of Beaumont Etiquette, told People that, while senior royals are unlikely to be told exactly how to act around their partner, they would be expected to use their best judgment as to what's appropriate. While Charles and Camilla have been snapped holding hands, Meyer told People people, they would adjust their behavior according to the formality of the event they were attending. They are also expected to behave more formally when on duty. But there have been examples of some royals being a little more affectionate during their own private time. Charles's niece, Zara Tyndall, for example, was photographed kissing her husband's neck while enjoying the Festival of British Eventing in 2011. In the UK, members of the public can be chosen at random and called upon to serve on a jury for a criminal trial at any time. Normally, skipping jury duty comes with a fine of up to £1,000, but Prince Charles is currently exempt from ever being called. Until 2003, no one in the royal family or even those who worked for the royal household were required to serve on a jury in the UK. Other professionals, including doctors and judges, were also able to be excused from jury duty. However, the law changed in a bid to ensure more jurors were available for courts. But Queen Elizabeth II and her immediate family remain exempt. The law does not clarify exactly which members of the immediate royal family would be exempt, but as heir to the throne, Charles is likely to be included. Thank you for joining us today. Real pleasure to see you. No, I'm delighted. 
The Royal Marriages Act of 1772 gives the monarch the final say on anyone getting married within the family. The act came about because King George III wasn't keen on his own brother's match with Lady Anne Horton, describing her as a commoner. It also meant that members of the royal family could not marry those of Roman Catholic faith. Since then, the monarch of the time has had to give permission to get married. This has included both Prince Charles's marriage to Princess Diana Spencer in 1981 and to Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, in 2005. Although Queen Elizabeth II did not attend the ceremony for his wedding to Camilla, which was held at Windsor Guildhall, she did give her blessing and was present at the reception. The Royal Marriages Act was later repealed in 2013 and replaced with the Succession to the Crown Act, which requires permission to be granted for the first six in line to the throne. As Charles is first, if he were ever to marry again, he would still need to ask the Queen for permission. While no one quite knows what Prince Charles wears at home, there is a strict dress code regarding what he and other members of the royal family wear in public. Diana Mather, a senior tutor for the English Manor Etiquette Consultancy, told BBC News that, as jeans are seen as very casual, members of the royal family would not wear them for events. The standard dress code for male royals, such as Charles, at a casual event is a blazer with a collared shirt and chinos. Women, like his wife Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, are expected to wear a day dress or trousers with a jacket or a cardigan. For more formal events, Charles would be expected to wear a suit. At military occasions, such as Trooping the Color, Charles wears the uniform of one of the regiments he is associated with. He holds the highest ranks of the Admiral of the Fleet and the Royal Navy, Field Marshal in the British Army, and Marshal of the Royal Air Force. Due to his role as heir, Prince Charles has not been allowed to travel with his mother since he was a child. Similarly, he has not been able to travel with his oldest son, Prince William, since William was a boy, unless given special permission from the Queen. Again, this is something that is a convention rather than an official rule, but it is followed in case of a tragic accident. In 2014, William had to get special permission from the Queen to take his infant son, Prince George, on a flight to New Zealand because they are second and third in line to the throne. On this occasion, the Queen did say yes, but other members of the royal family have been prevented from traveling together in the past. But by George, today was all about a baby. Conventionally, working members of the royal family, including Queen Elizabeth II, do not use a last name. Prince Charles's last name is technically Mountbatten-Windsor, the combination of each house from his father's and mother's side. The royal family started using the last name Windsor in 1917 as King George V was concerned that they would be criticized for the name saxe coburg gotha with rising anti-German sentiment following World War I. In addition to using Mountbatten-Windsor, Charles is entitled to use the name Wales as a last name, as Prince William and Prince Harry did during their education. However, as he uses the title, His Royal Highness, and his only job is to be a member of the royal family, he has never chosen to be known with a last name. Other royals who have full-time jobs outside the royal family, such as Princess Beatrice, do usually choose to use a surname professionally. When it comes to addressing Prince Charles, he should never be referred to in the same way as his mother, Queen Elizabeth. While the Queen expects to be referred to as Your Majesty, this is a title reserved only for the monarch. The term is usually used for the first address, and then, on subsequent times, she is referred to as Ma'am. Charles should be referred to as Your Royal Highness on the first address, followed by Sir. When he becomes king after the Queen's death, he will be the reigning monarch and will switch to being referred to as Your Majesty. Beyond the address, the royal rules state there are no obligatory codes regarding how people should address Charles and the rest of the royal family, though there are some conventions. Men are expected to bow using just their head, while women do a small curtsy. Shaking hands is accepted for both sexes. While board games might be a feature of many family occasions, for the royals, there is one that Queen Elizabeth II might not allow her children or their families to play — Monopoly, according to The Telegraph. It's not due to any real ceremonial reason, but simply because of the competitive personalities clashing when the property-themed game comes out. Her Majesty apparently does not wish to have to adjudicate when someone lands on the most expensive square and ends up bankrupt. 
During an event at the Leeds Building Society's headquarters to mark the building's renovation in 2008, Andrew was presented with a copy of the famous game, but he told reporters that he didn't get to play it at home because it, quote, gets too vicious, according to The Telegraph. Although he was likely joking, he didn't elaborate on what they do play during their annual Christmas gathering at Sandringham. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite royals are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.